What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and you knew this was gonna happen. Today we've got a showdown of the three most talked about wireless earbuds right now, the Powerbeats Pro, the AirPods 2, and the Galaxy Buds. Now, we are going to cover everything you need to know so you can pick the right one. So of course, the first thing we're gonna talk about are the designs. So with the Powerbeats Pro, these pretty much look like your standard power beats, uh, but without the long cable. And these actually look really good. I like the way these look. So they've got that ear hook so they can stay in the ear. Of course, a lot of gym earbuds kind of look like this now so that they don't fall out. But of course, looks are subjective, but I really like the way these look. I think they're pretty solid. And of course, we have the AirPods 2. Now, this is a design that people used to make fun of, some still do but it's pretty iconic now. I'm not super crazy about the you know, whole stem look, but it's pretty normalized now, so I don't think it's that bad, but I don't think that these look better than the Power Beats. They also don't fit that well, but we'll talk about that aspect of the design a little bit later. And then we have the Galaxy Buds. Now these are super low key. I actually really like the design of these because you just throw them in your ear and boom. They're like hidden, it's really nice. Some people say it looks like you got like marshmallows or cotton balls in your ears when they're white. So the white ones maybe aren't as stealthy, but if you have the black versions, those will probably look really good. I wish I had the black. So when it comes to the overall design, I think I'll have to go with the Galaxy Buds as the winner here. And then in second place, probably the Power Beats and AirPods last. Now, when we're talking about design, we also gotta talk about the cases because that's pretty much where they live. Now, with the AirPods, it's pretty nice and simple. Uh, you got this little case here that you just pop open, get your AirPods out, and it's nice, small, convenient. You throw this guy in your pocket, and it's no big deal at all. Now, you also get that same bit with the Galaxy Buds. Really small, low-key, pretty flat. A little bit bigger than the AirPods in terms of the length but this is also very easy to just throw it in your pocket and you kind of forget about it. So that's also nice. But when it comes to the Powerbeats Pro, this is a thick one. And you're not gonna wanna throw this in your pocket. I mean, you can, but that thing sticks out like a sore thumb. Uh, it's just not convenient whatsoever. So you'll probably wanna throw this in a backpack or something else rather than throw this in your pocket. So it loses points for that. Now we talked about the design, but let's talk about comfort. And you would think that the Powerbeats Pro would be a easy winner here, but they're actually not. Even though they have this ear hook design, uh, they stay on the ears pretty well. So in terms of comfort, uh, it's nice that this doesn't slip off, but I found that there's ear fatigue after about an hour of using these. And I think it's because of this part right here is actually pretty hard and it's just really uncomfortable. After some time, it really starts to dig into the ear. For me personally, I can't use these for more than an hour without starting to get really tired of them. And then we've got the Galaxy Buds. Now, I like the Galaxy Buds a lot because these, of course, have an in-ear design so they can sit right inside of the ear. They're not heavy. They don't dig into anything in my ears. These are very, very comfortable and you don't even notice that you're wearing them. Now, when it comes to the AirPods 2, these are a bit more of a toss up. Uh, some people have ears that they fit perfectly for. Some people just can't wear them. I'm one of those people. Uh, but for those who can wear them, I haven't heard any complaints about the overall feel. These are also very lightweight. So even I can keep them in my ears for like two seconds. Uh, this is not a strain on my ears whatsoever. Uh, if I don't move around a lot, I can wear them for a long period of time. But once I get to actually moving and walking around a bit, that's when I have issues with them falling out. So in terms of comfort, I like these even more so than the Power Beats, which are made to stay in your ear uh, because these don't hurt and they don't give any ear fatigue. I will say though, these don't create a tight seal or anything. So you'll be able to get a lot more ambient sound in your ears. Uh, you know, it could be a good thing when you're outside if you want to know about your surroundings, but it can have a bit of an impact on music listening. So it's something to keep in mind. So for me, the most comfortable are absolutely the Galaxy Buds. And then I'd go with the AirPods 2, of course, depending on if you could wear them or not. And then I'll go with 
the Powerbeats Pro. Now, of course, we got to talk about the features. Now, when it comes to the Powerbeats Pro and the AirPods 2, you pretty much get the same skill set here. They both feature Apple's H1 chip, and with that, you'll be able to do cool things like just open up the case and have it automatically pair or quickly pair with an iOS device. And it's also gonna be able to switch between Apple products very seamlessly and very easily. Another cool thing with the H1 chip is being able to just have them in your ear and you call out to Siri by just saying, you know, the phrase. I don't gotta say it. And then you can ask it whatever questions, even ask it to control the volume, play music, skip music. So that is some really cool functionality if you're into using voice assistance. And you also have the ability to add some different functionality to them in the settings on iOS devices but it's not much. You really can't do anything too crazy with these in terms of features. Now, one thing that sets apart the AirPods 2 from the Powerbeats Pro is that the case can wirelessly charge. So if you opt for this special case, if you opt to spend a little bit more money, you can go ahead and get this wireless charging feature. So if you've got a wireless charger or something, you can just kind of throw it down and then it'll start charging. There you go. Took a long time, but it's there. Now, the AirPods 2 aren't the only one with its wireless charging case. The Galaxy Buds also feature one as well. Uh, but what's cool about the Galaxy Buds is if you, of course, pick up a Galaxy S10, it has that feature built right into it where you can just kind of throw it on top and have it charge the Galaxy Buds just like that. I mean, you could do the same with the AirPods, I guess, but usually this is not a combo, like never. Now, while we're talking about the Galaxy S10, this is where the Galaxy Buds kind of blow the other two out of the water. So with the Galaxy Buds app, the Wear app from Samsung, you can actually use this app to go ahead and change a ton of different things with the Galaxy Buds. Now, I'm not gonna go into all of them, but you can see here, you can choose the kind of sound quality you want. You can choose what the touchpad does. So there's a lot of cool options that you can do with this that you just don't get with the other two. So if you're running an Android device, it absolutely makes sense to get the Galaxy Buds over these two if you care about features. That isn't to say though that you can't rock these with an Android device. All of these earbuds work with pretty much any device that has Bluetooth. And one last feature that I'll mention with the Galaxy Buds is that they've got this cool ambient mode. So you can pretty much pick up everything in your surroundings while listening to your audio so that you can know what's going on around you, even though these create a pretty tight seal. If you wanna be able to hear someone call out your name while you're listening to your music or something, you can turn that feature on. Now, when it comes to battery life, you can expect about four to five hours of listening time with the AirPods, and with the case, you can get an additional like 19 hours or so. Uh, the claim is that you can get 24 hours or more than 24 hours with the case included whenever you charge up your AirPods. Now, these also have a bit of a quick charge feature where if you charge these for 15 minutes, you get two hours of playtime. And with the Power Beats, you get a crazy nine hours of playtime and with the case, you get an additional 15 hours, which is just insane. That is extremely good battery life for truly wireless earbuds. So when it comes to the case and the earbuds, these are around the same realm in the 20 hour plus range. But what makes the Powerbeats Pro really nice is they've got this fast fuel feature, which gives it an hour and a half of music listening for just five minutes of charging. That is really quick. And for the Galaxy Buds, you get about five to six hours of listening time with these, and the case will only gets you another seven hours. So this case is the weakest out of all of these here, but with five to six hours of listening at a time, it's definitely no slouch, but you will have to charge this case more than these two. And the Galaxy Buds also have a bit of a quick charge feature where if you charge them for 15 minutes, you'll get an hour and a half of playback. Now, when it comes to the chargers for all of these, the AirPods, of course, charge with a lightning cable. So you plug in a lightning cable and you're good to go. And the same goes for the Powerbeats Pro. It also takes a lightning cable, but the Galaxy Buds uses a USB Type-C cable. So of course, we've got to talk about the audio quality. That's why you're here. So when it comes to the Galaxy Buds, I actually really like these. They've got a decent amount of bass don't have like a crazy thump or anything, uh, but they definitely sound pretty good, especially since these are in earbuds. Uh, you definitely get to feel that bass a little bit more with these. So overall, I really do like these. Vocals are pretty clear. They sound great. But when it comes to something like the AirPods, now these are a little bit tougher. They don't have a tight seal, so 
music tends to leak out. You don't get everything. Uh, the music doesn't sound as separated. These are absolutely good for everyday people who aren't really crazy about sound. Maybe you just want something that just sounds decent. These sound good. They have some solid bass, although the bass isn't as tight as with what both of these actually, uh, but it definitely does still have some bass. But I think that the clear winner here though has to be these guys right here. The bass is pretty punchy, vocals are there, uh, instruments sound good. I feel like there's a lot of separation here, so you can kind of pay attention to different little things when listening to these. But I'll be completely honest with you guys. I think for average listeners, everyday people who pick any of these up, you'll be pretty happy with the sound quality, but it's once you start comparing them that you start to see the gap in quality. The Powerbeats Pro definitely rank first for me here. Then I'll give it to the Galaxy Buds. And last place, I'll give it to the AirPods. And I think this makes sense, especially when you start factoring the price. These better sound better than these other two. And of course, my quality is very important since people use these earbuds to make calls. And right now you're hearing the audio quality from the AirPods too. Right now, you guys are hearing the audio quality from the Galaxy Buds. I've had Ari complain about the audio quality when talking to her a few times with these. So it's gonna be interesting how it compares. And last but not least, we have the Powerbeats Pro. So you guys let me know with a comment down below, which of the three you think sounds better. Okay guys, so the most important part of any purchasing decision is of course the price. AirPods go for 200 bucks with the wireless charging case. Galaxy Buds are only $129.99 and the Powerbeats Pro are 250 bucks. So definitely the most expensive. You get better sound, you get better battery life from it, uh, but it is a lot of money. Uh, I feel like the sweet spot is the, of course, Galaxy Buds because you get good sound quality, a nice comfortable fit, really inexpensive price tag. And if you're on Android, you get a lot of features. Uh, so to me, this is a really solid deal, especially if your ears can't fit the AirPods. But if you're rocking an iOS device and you absolutely don't care about the Galaxy Buds and you wanna pick between the AirPods and the Powerbeats Pro, I personally think if you really like to work out and you're going to the gym a lot, Powerbeats Pro are a good option, thanks of course that sweat resistance and that secure fit. Or if you really need better sound quality, then these are worth the investment, but you do have to factor in the comfort. If the AirPods fit for you, they might feel a lot more convenient since they've got that smaller form factor. But for me personally, I'm still gonna go with the Galaxy Buds as my winner. I think they're better than the other two overall, although they have a little bit less battery life, but the bang for your buck is absolutely there. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be the cool guy or girl that gives it a thumbs up. And I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace. I really wanted to love these.